Hello everyone, I'm Paulina Jamsa from Finland. Um, I'm international digital marketing expert. Uh, I've lived in five different countries. I speak seven languages and I have worked in digital for over eight years now. One of the areas I'm really interested in is big data and you might think it's a buzzword of the moment, but data has been extremely valuable for many, many years now. I was very glad to be selected as one of the 40 women in tech to go to EnderConf in Belfast last year. And one of the presentations there was extremely interesting. It's ab it was about uh, economic value of data. Now, EMC, they said that 63% of the people they were interviewing, they said that data monetization will become as valuable for them as their existing products and services. Now, that's not very far off the mark because data can indeed become the most valuable asset your company has. Let's think about uh, Caesar's Palace, for example. Now, they went through bankruptcy and the most valuable asset they had wasn't the physical resort or it wasn't the land they owned, it was the data. This is because they had a um, customer loyalty program with over 45 million people and creditors, they valued this data worth one billion dollars. Now, how can you make money out of data? How can you monetize data? Well, good news is that now everyone can do it. It doesn't matter if you're making phones, you're a car manufacturer, or let's say you're a supermarket chain. With connected technology, you can capture a huge amount of data. And every business is becoming digital business. And every company has unique data the other company doesn't have. So other company might be interested in combining your data with their data to market better, to make more profit, to get a higher return of investment, right? You can, uh, with all this technology, you can build a very detailed database with person's contact details, age, uh, their interests, their buying habits. Um, you can even get their friends' details as well. And what you can do is you, you don't only have to use it for your promotions. You can sell this data and this information, for example, during peak seasons. And a lot of companies will pay for this information. They would love to know what time do they shop, when do they shop, where do they shop. And um, if you ask correct questions, you will have this data. And that's why you have to have the monetization strategy in place before you start, okay? Because you have to be asking these correct questions. You have to think, why am I collecting this data? Who is it for? Who is going to pay for it? And why are they going to find it valuable? Because if you don't do this, well, you might end up with millions of users, but no data you can actually use. Because you haven't asked the correct questions and you haven't thought about it. You haven't thought it through. So you can't really go back and ask these users for data because people are not stupid. They know data is valuable. So when they're buying your product or service or downloading your app, they want your product, so they're willing to give you more information at that point. They're not gonna do this afterwards because they will question, why do you want this data? And even if you would give them some sort of reward, I think about 10% of them maybe would take it. Others, they don't want to share their data. Now, 
you have to put the data in the heart of your business and you have to make sure that all your employees and employers um, they understand the value of data capture from top management to the bottom you know you have to make sure that they have tools they need to capture it they they know how to capture it in a way that is respecting privacy that is secure and that they actually do it because if they don't know how valuable it is they're not going to bother collecting it and they're not going to bother to make sure that the data they collect is the data you want to collect now with all this data um, there are, there's of course problems because once you have this valuable data data privacy and security become a real issue so you have to make sure to protect, protect this data you have to make sure whenever it's transferred it's transferred in a safe way and you have to insure this data because you insure your physical buildings but if the data is the most valuable thing you have of course you have to insure also the data but for that you have to make sure to value your data correctly you need to have data evaluation policies in place now you might think yeah but what does this have to do with me um, I'm not interested in collecting data well the world is changing world is changing you look at uh, Uber you look at Airbnb you look at Facebook physical assets they're becoming less and less valuable and essential in business what really be brings money is the data and the way you use the data and how you monetize the data you you need to have a strategy in place to do it in-house as well as strategy for selling it why do you think Facebook bought WhatsApp they didn't have phone numbers now they do they can connect the two together so they have their data they were missing phone numbers now now they have the phone numbers so change is difficult and change is scary but can you really afford not to think about this law and policies and lobbying it can protect your business only for so long and if you don't start using your data you might be out of business in a few years time well this is everything for now have a nice day